Videos without audio descriptions are inaccessible to people who can't see them. As stated by American Council of the Blind, popular video streaming platforms, like YouTube and Amazon Prime, have millions of uploaded videos. However, very few videos have audio descriptions, which makes the sheer amount of video content inaccessible to users who are blind or vision impaired. Therefore we build an automatic audio description generation system. A woman is seen holding a drum set with others while others watch on the sidelines. The crowd cheers for the people. We also analyze the challenges of current video understanding research. Our system consists of three stages. First, with an input video, our system determines when to insert an audio description. This is achieved by video keyframe extraction and audiovisual consistency analysis. For each inconsistent video clip, leveraging dense video captioning algorithms, our audio description generation module figures out what activities to describe and generate several results. To yield accurate and fluent description selection from multiple generated results, we propose a description optimization module to generate the output, which is input to a text-to-speech engine for final rendering. We implemented a program to perform evaluations. We recruited 20 sighted participants and 12 blind or vision impaired participants, and divided them into three groups. We run our study in a two-pass manner. In the first pass, we ask participants to watch or listen to original input data. We ask them to raise their hand when they think the current video needs additional descriptions to help understand the scene. In the second pass, we ask participants to watch or listen to the same data plus our automatically generated audio descriptions. Just like in the first pass, hand raise for additional information that our description does not capture. Moreover, we also ask them to raise hand and let us know if the generated description is confusing, redundant, or has grammar errors. We analyzed the results and obtained four observations. First, the additional information requests show a significant drop when participants watching or listening to the data with our generated audio descriptions. Second, according to the recorded timestamps of participants' requests and our audio description insertion time, our results that have good or partial overlaps are above 70%. This shows our audio description insertion times are close to participant demands. In terms of confusion, the generated descriptions might not convey an accurate depiction of the visual activities. Since receiving both visual and auditory information, the results of the SV group achieve much higher. The last observation is from the stark contrast between the reported redundancy between the sighted and blind users. Blind participants are generally okay with redundant and repeated audio descriptions, while sighted participants complained about excessive redundancy. For the post-study interviews, we group our findings into three topics. First, what is missing in our audio descriptions? We observed considerable diversity across sources in terms of participants' desires for the amount of content and level of detail they want in audio descriptions. And both sighted and BVI participants stated that they want to get deeper interpretations and subtle relationships beyond the audiovisual content. Second, why is our audio description not very helpful? Based on their feedback, we believe there are three main reasons. Audio descriptions do not match the video topic or title. Audio descriptions do not match the sound. And audio descriptions are not logical. They all result from the shortcomings of existing video understanding methods. We also wondered how do our automatic AD results compare with a manual AD from Netflix. In terms of insertion time, the overlaps between participants' requests and manual results are noticeably higher than those of our automatic algorithm. Regarding the description quality, very few descriptions are thought to be confusing, and rarely have redundant results or grammar errors. We have four recommendations and future directions for next-generation audio description services. We need a more context-aware prediction model to decide when to insert an audio description. We need smarter video understanding beyond just activity recognition. We need interactive levels of details for audio descriptions. We need more accurate sentence level scene descriptions. Please refer to our paper for more details. Thanks for watching.